All right, this is the new Head Cyclic 115 and really like it. A new lineup from uh, the Head Powder line. Hooks up really well and uh, breaks loose really sweet too. This is the uh, Turbine 125. Really great surfy feel. A little bit hard to hook up, but uh, it's a solid ski. I like it. Like them. All right, so we got here the Tyrolia Adrenaline 16, the new touring binding from Tyrolia. It comes uh, up to 16 din and up to 13 din. The really cool thing about this binding is you can activate the whole thing via your pull, so no bending over for you lazy slack country skiers. So you just pop up the back here and you're totally free, which is great. The real advantage to this one is it actually goes flat, so no toe cramping uh, this year for you backcountry enthusiasts. You can pop it up to seven degrees, then it goes all the way up to 13 degrees, and up you go then all the way back down to flat. And you're back in, ready for skiing. We've got some line skis here. This is the Opus, uh, pretty much unchanged for this year, just a new graphic. Still a great ski, hooks up really well and uh, nice and uh, maneuverable in the powder. Yeah, and we got the uh, Sir Francis Bacon as well. They've unchanged this ski too, but it's got an updated graphic, but we really like this ski, all mountain. You can ski in the crud, you can ski in the powder, and if it hasn't snowed for a while, it's still really fun too. Little early rise rocker. But this is the new ski that everybody's talking about, the new line sick day. Even if you aren't sick, you should take a day off to ski this thing. This is the 110, awesome all mountain versatility, but great off the piste as well. And we love the graphic, especially with the sick day on the back. Skis from Armada here. This is the uh, Magic J, based on the uh, JJ, but a little wider, a little stiffer, just a little bit of a tweak on the side cut. Uh, great ski for running fast. And this one here is the new Norwalk. So this is new for 2013, 2014. What they've done is they've taken the best of the JJ and the TST and mixed them together and do an all mountain ripping machine. This thing really wants to go, but initiates really, really easily. I'm really excited about this ski for next year. Louisiana. All right, here we got the uh, Armada Bubba with an updated graphic for the 13-14 uh, season. This is a really fun powder ski. It's the biggest ski in their line. It's got lots of float, lots of float. Just enjoy this ski. Similar story over here for the JJ, just an updated graphic. Still a great versatile ski that we've always been. A lot of people really love this ski. And finally, the TST. New graphic. This is an old mountain. The new uh, K2 Shredditor comes in uh, three different waist sizes, with a, and it's kind of like the Sean Predator, but it's got a little bit of less reverse camber, and of course the three different sizes. Really solid ski. Yeah, and here we got the Annex. Uh, these two are Annexes, and there's actually a third one in the lineup, all different waist sizes. This is replacing the side stash, and what they've done is they tweaked it just enough to make it even more exciting. It's got lots of pop, unbelievable hedge hold, and they just changed the way the taper uh, happens up here in the nose. A little longer shovel for better touring. And Kick they tail. flipped up the tail a little bit, so better for all mountain riding. Really, really stoked about this ski for next year. We have the uh, Solomon Rocker 2, 122 here. Updated graphics. It's a fantastic ski, it's super solid inbounds, and it's got uh, gives you lots of float out, uh, out in the outback. Yes, and the 108 is an all-mountain ripper. This ski is a total rocker. I love it because you got not super fat under under waist, so you can kind of get in and out of the trees, but when it hits the hard pack, it just wants to go. And it's a little packed here today, so it's perfect. Love the ski. This is the Atomic Automatic. I find it to be uh, great, stable at speed. It's got the right amount of rocker. I think it'd be really nice in some deep snow. Uh, great for using all around the mountain. Though. Yeah, and this one here is the new Ritual in the Vantage series. It's 103 underfoot, so great all-mountain ripper. It's got a little bit of kind of what they call the all-mountain rocker. It's super solid on edge and be a great all-mountain ski. All right, this is the Dynastar Sham 97 HM. Now the HM is new for this year. It says for high mountain, and what they've done is they put in a slightly lighter wood core and taken out that sheet of metal, which is making this a much more friendly all mountain ski. Easy to initiate, but still that classic sham solid feel on the edge. So we're really excited about this ski for next year. 
We're looking at the updated 7 Series from Rosignol, starting with the Squad 7, the Super 7, and the Soul 7. These skis are a marked uh, improvement on last year's skis. They've totally changed the design. They've got a little bit more rocker, they are more maneuverable, and they're lighter because we've got this new honeycomb tip technology, which is actually a little bit see-through, so it's kind of trippy. But we really are enjoying these skis. A size for everybody, you go wide, wider, widest. Pretty sweet. All right, what we got here is the new Marker Lord, new for next year. The whole idea here is it's a downhill bonding, but they've added this extra piece here to accommodate people with a touring sole, like a vibrant sole in the boot, so you can adjust the height of the toe a lot easier. So pretty innovative uh, forward-thinking design for Marker, just kind of given the way the market's going. So yeah, Solomon Lord. Marker Lord. Ah. <laughs> Cut that part out. Edit that part out. We're looking at some new vocals here. We got the Shiro. It's got a new top sheet. Same great ski as always. Likes to run fast and hard. Super solid. Won't let you down. This right here is the new one. There's a series of the one and the two. Basically, it's same uh, great vocal quality and an all mountain ski with some nice uh, tip and tail rocker. Okay, now this is the Katana. Now we know vocals had the Katana for a few years. This is the V Works edition. Full carbon integration here. They got this stabilizer bar down the middle. They've made it ultra, ultra thin, right? You may think that it's a little light. Well, it is light, but it's crazy solid on the snow and ultimately very, very maneuverable. This ski here probably gets top pick for me for this ski test. I absolutely love it. Hit me right here, huh? Oh, reaction. Yeah, this is the Rastafarski, man. <laughs> I hear you crack them open. They're full of honey. French honey. Tastes like mustard. Mm, yeah. If you're magic and you can count a J, these are the ski for you. <laughs> And this one here is the Norwalk. What they've done, they made a ski that will make you poop your pants and then possibly die. <laughs>